Potato sliver, bone slice sliver, and a land in hand. That's a clock. Well, if we can get on the battlefield, yeah. Easy. He's got cavern. True. He's got the sliver hive. Colored mana, not going to be an issue. That's not going to be a problem. Removal spells might be a little bit more of an issue. Here's a sinew sliver. What do we have now? Snappy? Yeah, the, if he's got another bolt or a snapcaster mage, this is his window to use it. Yep, there's Snappy. Target lightning bolt, lightning bolt predatory sliver. And, I mean, all, all these plays are 100% correct by Joshua. You yeah. have to, you got to lock these things down while you can. There's Sliver Hive. Bone size Sliver. Boom. Double Strike. Let's go. 2-2 two -two with Double Strike, so no good blocks here for Joshua. Unless he has Path to Exile or another Lightning Bolt or something else lame. Now, I might boo that out of the building. Yeah. I mean, it was already disheartening enough today watching... Hakan, Night of the Rel, Query, get Cryptic Commanded yeah, into that a was, draw. Yeah, that was actually really tough. That almost shut down the broadcast yep. today, so I can't handle a Snapcaster Mage trading with a Sliver. I think we have a Path to Exile on the way here, Patrick. <sighs> yeah. There goes Bone Slice Sliver. Now Sinus Sliver is just a 2-2. Two -two. Snapcaster Mage might want to trade. Yep. And just like this, the Sliver Army yep. is down. For now, but not out. Could reassemble with Sliver Hive and a little bit of help. You do have to start somewhere. Our Jess Guy twin enemy only has Lance in here. Okay. All right, Sliver Mage Adam Bowman. Take a draw. There's a land, another Sliver Hive. Vile staying at three. He wants to take a look at the Sliver Hive. We will do the same. Any color for a sliver spell, five mana tap, make a sliver. So at the very least, we got a creature coming. Well, he needs to have a sliver. Awkward. Pyroclasm the draw. Good against slivers. True. <laughs> really true. Uh-oh, yes. Come on. There we go. Come on! There's a necrotic sliver. Now All we right. got a little something to work with. All right, and now he gets to make a sliver. Here we go. That's the Vindicate sliver. Now we got a little something to work with. A muta vault, a sliver. sliver, in. Even for if he three. blows this board up, that's yep. fine. We can reassemble. Here come the beatdowns. Joshua Pyroclasm in hand. You see Spell Skite. That's going to block Necrotic Sliver. One damage will come through. Pass the turn back. So Ender's going to actually need a big draw here. And Splinter Twin is not like the end all be all at this point because of Vindicate Sliver. Exactly. If, if he goes for the kill right now, Bowman can simply kill the Spellskite and then kill the Pestermite. Mm -hmm. So this probably forces Joshua's hand on the Pyroclasm, and then we're basically reset. And Kiki Jiki was the draw. Things have taken an interesting turn. A Chronic Sliver is messing some things up here. I, I don't think it's acceptable here for, for Inda to just dump the Kiki Jiki out there. I think that Inda basically has to trade off the board here and hope to rip one of his XR slash Pestermite type creatures. There's Pyroclasm. Well, you get to you get to take care of Spell Sky. Yep, you get to do that. Gets to take a land all with him too. Yeah, I'm. Yep, because he can kill lands. Can take out the hallowed. Uh, he's got two sources of white man. That's still not bad. Can, Maybe whatever. cascade bluffs. Try to cut down the red sources or cut him down a white source. Yeah, I mean, it, it probably doesn't matter in particular which land he gets, but might as well get one. Yeah, it's free. Yeah. Now pyroclasm resolves. There goes pestermite. Might be time to pass. Yeah. Activate mutavolt. Now make a sliver. Taking a look at the sliver. Hive. So I believe Inda's draw here was Lightning Bolt, and he's asking, you know, basically, can I break this up with a bolt? I believe the answer is no, because all this is looking for is can you activate the power, not on resolution. Correct. Now, if he wants to kill Mutavolt, he can, but I, I believe Bowman's still going to get a sliver. Yep. Yeah, because you can only activate Sliver Hive to make a sliver if you control a sliver, which he did. It's not looking on resolution, though. Yep. Vial up to ooh, four. Maybe hold Bone Scythe again? Beatdowns. 
ended down to nine. Vile in hand for Bowman. He doesn't need another one of those, though. Yeah, still just better serve right now with, with Bowman just activating the sliver hive. There's Kiki Jiki. That'll resolve. Pass the turn back. Another sliver. Five? Is it? Does he have the Hive Lord in this deck? This doesn't seem like a great Hive Lord matchup. <laughs> I don't know what's going to come out of that vial. Yeah. I, I'm sure Joshua also is <laughs> very <laughs> nervous about whatever is going on with that Aether vial. He's down to seven. There's an Arid Mesa pass to turn back. Yeah, I, need, I didn't want to know. Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> It's the Sliver Hive Lord. It's here. Sliver Hive Lord is here. Seven and one in modern. Hey, Kiki Jiki's jump blocking here. <laughs> They're all indestructible. Beatdowns. Someone is jumping. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hive Lord has just eaten a Kiki Jiki. Three damage dealt. There's an overgrown tomb. Sacrifice Arid Mesa. Deck, tech, deck, tech. Not sure what uh, Josh was even drawing to at this point. I, I think he might be on a nofer. Because uh, falling to three here, assuming that Bowman remembers to activate the Sliver Hive, even drawing uh, a tap effect doesn't work. Yep. His sweepers are off the table because Sliver Hive Lord makes everything indestructible, so Supreme Verdict's not now. Yep. This has all of a sudden gotten very, very difficult. I, I, I think, as you mentioned, Joshua might be drawing dead here. Yeah, and yeah. that is going to do it. Adam Bowman is going to win this match here over Joshua into two games to one. And the Slivers player, who was late for round number one, had to pick up a loss because he was late has not lost a match that he has actually played. He is 8-1 here with Slivers.